If you're into Minecraft, you might have heard of Donors MP, one of the fastest growing hardcore survival multiplayer servers in the community. And at the center of it all is Dr. Donut, the creator of the server and the mastermind behind its growing popularity. Dr. Donut started as a content creator, primarily on YouTube and Twitch, where he built a community around his Minecraft gameplay. His content usually focuses on survival challenges hardcore gameplay and PvP. With his large fan base and influence, Donuts MP became an extension of his content provi providing a space where players can engage in hardcore PvP centric Minecraft gameplay. But today, we're going to dive deeper into whether his whole thing is just a fun server for fans, or dare I say, is there something shady going behind the scenes. So let's talk about the possibilities that Donuts MP might be scamming its- What is Donuts MP? Now, for those who don't know, Donuts MP is a hardcore Minecraft server where players face off in PvP focused environments. The twist? It's hardcore, meaning once you die, you lose everything, including your items, currency, and in some cases, even your rank or position on the server. The server boasts a competitive edge within the game currency system, shops, and various features that cater to those who enjoy both survival and player versus player combat. But while it's on the surface, it seems like just another SMP. There are elements on how it, it be, might be worth questioning, especially if you're considered the monetization strategies and how they might be exploiting players. Donor SMP pay to win. One of the first red flags that people often bring up is the monetization of the server. Donor SMP has a store where you can purchase ranks, items, and even kits that give you an advantage over other players. Now, let's be real, a lot of Minecraft servers have some for form of pay to paid item or rank to support their upkeep, but Donuts MP takes it to another level. Imagine this, you're in a hardcore server, where if you die, you lose all your progress. Naturally, players are go going to want to protect themselves that and increase their chances of survival. That's where the pay to win aspect comes in. If you are willing to drop some serious cash, you can buy powerful gear, perks, and kits that give you a huge advantage over those who can or simply won't pay. This is just a smart business model or something more predatory. Well, that's up for debate, but it certainly raises the question, are players being concerned into paying in order to enjoy the server or even stand the chance? in this unforgiving environment. The economy of Donor SMP, in-game currency and real money. Another potential issue lies in the in-game economy. Donor SMP operates with a current system that players can use to buy, sell, and trade items. On the surface, this sounds fine, but there's a catch. Players can exchange real-life money for in-game currency. This creates an environment where wealth wealthier players, for those who can't afford to spend money, having a sig significant advantage over the others. You can literally pay to get stronger, buy rare items, and even secure your position on the server. In a hardcore environment where you can lose everything if you're not prepared, this system essentially forces players to either grind or endlessly pay up. But it doesn't stop there. Some users have claimed that the server's economy is intentionally skewed to favor pay paying players. For example, items in the shop can be incredibly overpriced. For those who rely solely on in-game currency, this creates a paywall for certain adva advantages, forcing non-playing paying players into either grinding for hours or end up s or end up simply paying up. Are players getting what they paid for? Another critical question, are players actually getting what they paid for? In theory, when you pay for ranks, kits, or items, you're supposed to receive the benefits instantly, but there have been multiple reports of players not receiving what they paid for, or at least not receiving it in a timely manner. Players have complained that despite paying for high tier ranks or gear, they either don't get the items they purchased or face significant delays. In the fast paced environment of hardcore SMP, waiting for an item can be the difference between life and death. What's worse is that the customer support system, according to many players, can be slow and unresponsive. Imagine spending your hard-earned money on an advantage only for it to not arrive in time, leaving you vulnerable and frustrated. If this is happening on a regu regular basis, Donor SMP might not be as transparent or reliable as it seems when it comes to handling player transactions. Donor SMP also has ranks such as a media and plus rank, which 
the normal player can get, but plus rank you have to pay $10 a month, and here are the things you can get with it, such as 5 homes, 30 second RTP cooldown, and priority in queues. And media is the same thing, but you can get it for free by getting 5,000 views on TikTok and and getting 25 live viewers, 50,000 views on sh YouTube shorts, and 25,000 views on TikTok. So now there are 7 points that we have looked at, but now we're going to look into the dark side. People in the season can choose crates, which isn't that bad, right? But no. Say we have a conclusion that a rich person plays donors in PE. All they have to do is spend a couple of dollars to get a full crystal PvP kit. And they can do this as much as they want, called an addiction. Spending your hard-earned money on something, on some shiny items that you'll lose eventually. But say you want to spend your money, you could just spend $200 to get 50 million. And by buying Amphis Silaxes and selling them on auction for around 2 to 3 million, and even spend thousands of dollars to get Baltop 1. So it's basically an, a disadvantage to people. And in different words, Donut's B is a pay-to-win server. Duping or item duplication is when players exploit bugs or hacks to multiply valuable items like weapons, armor, or rare resources, giving them unfair advantages in the game. In a server where everything is at stake, a duping can destroy the balance. Players who duplicate items have overwhelming advantage in PvP, breaking the economy and devaluing the hard-earned items of legit players. Imagine facing off against someone with infinite gear whilst you're stuck grinding for scraps. Server admins on Dunnus B have been cranking down on dupers with bans and patches, but with every new fix, players find new ways to exploit the system, leaving many wondering if the server will be ever free of duping. So, what does all of this mean for Dunnus B? Is it just a clever competitive Minecraft server with a hardcore twist, or is there something more troubling behind its business model? Whilst there is no hard evidence to suggest that Dr. Dono or his team are outright scamming players, but there are definitely elements of the server that could be used, as, used and seen as exploitive. The heavy pay-to-win mechanics, the, the in-game economy tied to real money and use phys physical tactics, all paint a picture of the server that may not have its players' best interests at heart. If you're thinking about joining Donors and Pete, it's worth considering how much you're willing to invest, both in terms of money and time. Whilst it can be fun and an exciting experience, it's important to stay aware of the potential pitfalls and not falling into a trap of spending more than you're comfortable with. As always, do your own research and let yourself know whether a donor's fee is worth your time or your money. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about these concerns. Have you played on donor's and what's your experience?